Who is Ebon Hoodrich? Ebon Hoodrich, what you mean, shit? Me. I'm saying, like, who is you, man? Like, like just tell the people, you know what I'm saying? Shit. From low end, man. Ebon Hoodrich, it's self explanatory. Look at the videos, man. <laughs> you know who I am, man. Everybody right. know who I am. You won't? You fake, man. All right, Straight good. up. Um, so you got one of my favorite rap names, man. Like, how did you get the name Ebon Hoodrich? Shit, nigga, Ebon came in from the hood, like. I remember when I was shorty, like I was selling weed and shit. And one of the guys, like, he wanted some weed and I had no bags. I put that shit in room four. He like, man, you gonna sell that shit. And he was like, man, you like Ebon off of uh, the love, what that movie and shit called? Shorty them selling weed when they was probably like 12, 13 and shit. I blew it out and like, no, call you Ebon. You, you, wanna, you wanna sell weed and shit. I'm like, all right, shit. And then the whole hood just started calling me Ebon like that. Then I just made a Facebook. When I first started rapping, I was just Ebon. Then I made a Facebook, I just made my name Ebon Hood Rich. And everybody just, just kept calling me the first hood rich, first motherfucker who used that hood rich shit. Mm-hmm. Not none all these none of these new rappers with the hood rich shit. I've been doing that shit. Been I, made that shit up in no nine. <laughs> Alright, so I heard about you a couple years ago, and you was like one of my you was one of the few Chicago rappers that was dropping consistent the world style. You was dropping videos. Yeah, it still ain't nothing changed, so I got the joint. Just put two right on that motherfucker. To a world star, I'm drop another video next week. You know that motherfucker going to world star. Everything I drop going to world star. I already know. At that time, though, like, I'm talking about like before Instagram, yeah, all yeah, that shit. Yeah. When it was like world star was everything. Yeah. Like, you was, it was like you and maybe one or two other people. Like, did you consider yourself like one of the people in Chicago that was. Who started like, that world star yeah. wave? Yeah, I was probably the first thing seen from Chicago that knew that was on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He do this music shit. Most motherfuckers do this music shit. We wake up. On World Star, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, now I wake up on the edge looking at this shit every day. I'm going to put my shit on this motherfucker. And I start doing that shit every day and shit. Then that shit took off. Yeah, yeah. All right, so another thing when people meet you, man, before you speak, before they hear the music, man, they see the jewelry, bro. The jewelry game is crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. We got all type of shit going around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of times this just look this look this look simple shit, the E Ball chain. This got yeah. some more shit on the way too, man. Hood Rich chain coming soon. What got you in the jewelry though? Man, let me see. I, mean, I bought my first chain probably like in like 08, 09, probably like we was going to a Gucci concert. My man like, man, we need some J. I went to the trash, just got me a little cross, a little Joe Rodeo and a bracelet and shit, some earrings and shit. Like fuck. Drop me some J real quick. That Gucci man, that that so I see all that little movement mm-hmm. shit got me on the J and shit back before I started rapping and all that shit. Yeah, man. He had a show at the Joe Riverson. I went to guy see real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so Gucci, that was like one of your favorite artists at that time. He had the streets at that time. I ain't gonna say he was my favorite, but he, he up there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I really can't say a favorite because probably back then, like I just fuck with Gotti probably the hardest than not all the rappers and shit because this shit seemed more realistic to me. And, and it related to the shit I was doing, so I just fuck with. But I fuck with Gucci hard too. Like Gucci my nigga. That's all I used to play. Shit, Gotti Gucci. You know how that shit was back. Gotti Gucci G's. Yeah, mm-hmm. but man, that shit. Yeah. All right. So before you got locked up, bro, you was doing. You had started doing a lot of music with uh, another Chicago artist, uh, Lil Mouse. Oh yeah, it's my little homie. Yeah, how did y'all link up? Cause I saw y'all separately and then I saw y'all come together. Oh yeah, that's my little man though, shit. Like I was fucking one of his big homies and shit. I remember when he first did his first song, his first video and shit, he sent it to me like, man bro, woo woo, I, I uh, put my shit on your page. I said, I got you little bro. I put it on this, put it on my page, nigga. The next morning I woke up, his shit was a world star like, with 300,000 views. I was like, damn, shorty shit just went. Crazy. Couple days later, he, man, you see my shorty going crazy? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that night when he dropped the shit, I put the shit on my page or whatever. So he was like, now just seeing this shit going crazy. And then he was like, man, come do the help on this song. He got woo woo, I'm a problem. I'm like, all right. Then we still had this Chase Davis crib. Chase Davis had a studio in his crib. You know, Chase Davis mm-hmm. making the beats and shit. He had, he had the beat and shit, so I'm a problem and shit. I haven't fucked a little nigga ass since then, man. So y'all got any new music coming now? Yeah, we just did three songs. Like, uh, we was in the studio last week. We did three songs. Uh, I deserve it. Me, him, and Swag got some shit called Plays. Uh, we got another song. Forgot the name of them. I've been doing so many motherfucking songs lately. 
That shit go crazy too. Fleet. Yeah, okay. she called every day on Fleet. That shit go crazy too. Alright, so I know you just came in April, right? Was it April? Yeah, well I just y'all just came home in April. But I just got the halfway house like like last week for real. Damn, okay. Yeah, I was in the halfway house three months after I got out. So you were still working while you was there? Yeah, I just dropped two videos while I was in the halfway house. I already know. <laughs> so can you speak on what happened that got you, you know what I'm saying, jammed up? Yeah, basically shit I got called a brick. Shit, I gotta go with a brick and a pistol. They ran my crib. They just followed another motherfucker. They ended up seeing me ran my crib. Shit. Have a brick. Okay. Bagging a bunch of bread and shit. Okay, so I remember your caption. Like this, like this show you how I be watching, but I remember your caption. You had said the feds came and got you, but you stayed a real nigga. Yeah, it is. Like, can you speak on the tactics? A lot of people don't know, you know what I'm saying? Speak on the tactics that the feds be trying to use to... Oh, yeah, they, they beastie, boy. They, they first thing, they, this is my first case. I ain't no shit about the feds. I ain't even think I was going feds. I'm going to shit with one brick. I'm thinking niggas go to feds like kingpins, like Chapo. You know what I'm saying? I got to mm -hmm. go with 100 bricks to go to... I call one brick shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck I'm going to the feds? You thought you go to the county and shit? Yeah, yeah, I'm shit. I'm 22 years old. I ain't even going to the motherfucking feds. Just turned 20. I'm like, man, that shit crazy. That shit vicious though, man. That shit just, you just got a motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Once you get to talk, sitting around in that motherfucking and hollering at motherfuckers and talking to your lawyer and shit, you realize that shit ain't really, it was my first case, so I wasn't finna get cracked like that from one book, you know what I'm saying? It was a 5 to 40 anyway for, for a kilo of cocaine, mandatory 5 to 40 years. So they gave me a 5 because I ain't had no background. Well, that's, that's good. We, we glad you home, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, so why you was locked down, bro? Like, what did you do the past time? Like, like Shit. a lot of rappers be like, they don't want to write when they up in there. Cause they I, mean, I got like three hundred songs. If I had my book bag. I left that bitch in the car. I'm writing like a motherfucker. I was in the hole for four months when I got called a cell phone. So I sat in the hole for four months. I was writing two, three songs a day in the hole. We want shit doing that bitch. I read a book, write a couple songs. Oh, that was my day. Mostly all my writing shit. Cause when, I, when I'm out the hole, I be moving around doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Cooking and. Working out and shit and chilling, watching TV. Yeah, and they put on about 50 pounds in that bitch. That's what helped me get through that shit for real. Working out and shit, fuck with the little hoes and shit. Um, got the little email shit. I'm emailing little bitches and shit out there and shit. They helped that little time pass, by the Shout out to all the bitches that was writing and sending pictures to me and shit while niggas in the joint. <laughs> so, like, did you meet other rappers in there? Like, uh, when you be like that, it's like everybody want to battle and rap. Yeah, it's a lot of of funny motherfuckers, man. Niggas having concerts, man, you want to do the show? I ain't doing none of that shit in drums, you niggas. You niggas don't do this shit for real. <laughs> Most niggas start rapping when they go to the joint. I was doing this shit before I went in there. There's a couple niggas I be fucking with, you know what I'm saying? That I still like probably a fuck with when they get out. But some of them niggas still locked up though, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, when you came home, like, what was the biggest thing you had to get adjusted to? Getting adjusted to? Shit. Let me see. I know time move way more faster since them days drag when a nigga in the joint. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nowadays, now I be trying, I be having so much I gotta do. I be all look up, nigga, the day be over with. Quick as fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's already full. It feel like I just came outside. <laughs> shit be flying now. In the joint, you be like, damn, when this day gonna get over with? Try to get to the next day, get this shit over with. I already go to the crib. Mm -hmm. You just gotta. I, that's the main thing I say, getting getting adjusted to the time, how the shit moving when you really got shit going on out here and shit. Mm -hmm. So, what would you say is the biggest difference that you see between like then and like now, like in the world? Like when you came back, like damn, shit done changed. In the world, I don't know. I seen like this music shit sweeter. It's all type of niggas just getting on off of anything. You know what I'm saying? So I know this shit ain't finna be nothing to take off. How I want to take off. The way I grind, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I said on my last post, shit. Treat the rap like the track. You just gotta stay consistent with this shit. You know what I'm saying? I remember Gucci said a long time ago, you must believe in yourself. Shit, that's 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 the main thing. You gonna be haters, gonna be people with somebody out here and fuck with that woo woo. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta believe in your own shit. You feel like you can do this shit, just do your shit. You don't worry for no other nigga, don't worry for no handouts. Put your own money behind yourself. Cause ain't nobody gonna believe in yourself like you do, so shit. That's how I move with that shit. All right, so 
Like, did you pay attention to the rap game while you was in there? Like, yeah, we had a little uh, MP3 and shit. We could download music and shit off the uh, off the uh, so who was you rocking? Like, who was y'all rocking with in there? It was, I was I was hearing everybody's shit. You know what I'm saying? But the most shit, the most decent motherfuckers who came out since I've been locked up, probably. I was fuck with money bag shit, you know what I'm saying? Shorty be talking that shit. I just fuck with gay shit. But it really, it was a lot of different niggas, but them niggas like, shit, I was talking about shit I can relate to the artists. Lucha was talking some shit too, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. One of the new younger artists coming out. I was fuck with them niggas. Alright, so, what was the first thing you did when you got home? Shit, got some pussy. <laughs> 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 Fuck you talking about? That's some pussy, goddamn. All the other shit can wait, goddamn. That was the first thing, goddamn. All right, so what about like, where you go out to eat first? Because I know the food, like. Shit, where I go out to eat first? When did I go out to eat first? You know, I was in the half house in a minute, so they was giving the motherfucker, uh, you was be time limits on when a nigga can go out and shit like that, so shit. It was basically, what the fuck did I go eat first? That was my family with the fuck with their child first. Yeah. All right, big boy shit. Yeah, yeah, they went to fuck with their child then. All type of other shit, eating like a motherfucker. All right, so when that whole Takashi thing came out, him coming to Chicago, beefing with niggas and shit, you actually had something real to say, and that shit went viral. You know what right, I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Um, you don't seem like the type to do the internet talking shit like what? What made you like feel like, man, let me save my piece? I just got tired of seeing that shit on my timeline. Like, man, y'all steady running around talking about this goof ass shit, man. <laughs> y'all know damn well this nigga ain't nobody. He a clown for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, y'all stretch yourself out about a motherfucker. Nigga with rainbow hair. Who know he won't survive a day in these streets of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know what we do up here. Like, y'all in front of y'all move for yeah. running around. You know what I'm saying? Making a big scene about it. Y'all big him, y'all, his hoes didn't even know who the fuck he was in Chicago. Right. But all these niggas running around talking about him. So he actually he got, got his little... buzz in Chicago now, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's what all Chicago feed off of, like, drama and shit with, with, with all the rappers and everything. Like, most rappers get big off beef with niggas. You ain't never heard me make no diss songs, no yeah. nothing. That shit goofy to me, for real, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because we be in this shit for real. Ain't nobody gonna put that shit on no tracks and shit. Right. Motherfucker know how me and my people's moves, so. though. Right. That yeah. shit was full as hell to me. That's why I just had to speak on the shit. Like, I got tired of seeing that shit. Like, would y'all stop talking about this goof ass nigga, man? <laughs> that shit was dumb as hell. Did you expect the response that you got? Cause no, not for real. <laughs> and they put that shit on about 20 different blogs, all type of shit. I ain't definitely think it was gonna go like that, though, for real. That was just speaking my mind, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Alright, so. Speaking on that, how you feel about, like, this new age of, like, rappers on social media? Like, you know what I'm saying? You think like that shit kind of OC or whatever, or you feel like motherfuckers is like using it the right way to kind of make Shit, if, if, if that's how you gonna get on, shit, use that bitch to your best ability, shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Niggas call them up for child clap chases and all that shit. If that's gonna help you get a million dollars, man, do that shit. I ain't, I ain't gonna knock no nigga for where they trying to come up. Niggas be trying to get out these streets, because these streets vicious, you know what I'm saying? Man. All right, so. Let's get on some music. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like you, I know you got new music. I know you yeah, dropped your first shit. day out. That was yeah, going first crazy. Joint. Like talk about all the new music, new projects you got coming up. Should I just yeah, drop that first day out? That shit going crazy. Where else stop? Drop that. You don't love me. I know my folks seen that shit. Bad tough full of money. Oh yeah, bad tough with hoes and shit. Yeah, yeah. Bad tough full of money. Shit. Uh, I just dropped the shit called I Remember. I just shot a video to I Remember, nigga. Last week, that shit should be out this week. I, I got a call, buddy said we done the video right now. You know what I'm saying? Cannon Boy, shout out to Cannon Boy. They did their thing on that shit. That shit should be going crazy. Flat Tie, shout out to Flat Tie. He shot a lot of my videos and shit. I just shot another one, Hood Rich Freestyle, my little partner, Amigo Hood Rich. That shit finna go crazy. Everybody been fucking with that shit. I got a lot of more shit going. I got the designer shit finna drop. Uh, all bosses go to heaven, bag up. Too much, what's that shit called? Too much money. That shit old shit, like, motherfuckers still be asking, man, why you never put that out? Woo, I'm gonna put that shit out. I got a song called Mesco I gotta put out. I was just, just got my laptop back and my shit was fucking up. My shit that, uh, I take my shit to Best Buy to get fixed or whatever. So that shit got a whole bunch of music on my shit that's still relevant today, because a lot of this shit be trash I'll be in. Like. <laughs> I got old shit from 2012, I know it's still crazy right now. 
Put that shit out too. Like, your style is different. You feel me? A lot of people in Chicago, they sound like other areas or it's this drill sound where like everybody, like your sound, like explain your sound, bro. Like, how you coming on the record? I just rap shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? See, see that drill shit? I was rapping before them niggas was, you know what I'm saying? Blew up off that shit. You know what I'm saying? I was already doing my thing. So that's why I don't sound like them niggas. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So basically, that's. I just sound like how I want to, you know what I'm saying, get on the mic and rap. That's why a lot of niggas in the city gonna sound like, you know what I'm saying, Keith or, you know what I'm saying, Louis or, you know what I'm saying, Dirk. Niggas gonna sound like that shit. But I was rapping before, you know what I'm saying, most of the niggas was even heard of, you feel me? That shit, niggas just blew shit. Then I got locked up, you know how that shit go. Mm-hmm. All right, so, where do you see yourself musically, like, next year? You know what I'm saying, a year out, campaign strong. Shit, you gonna see me on top, Joe. This shit ain't finna take long. I say six months for real. Motherfuckers always been hitting me and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, this shit's sweet. You know what I'm saying? The buzz getting big. I'm finna keep dropping shit, keep getting on world stop, keep stunning on niggas, keep standing on motherfuckers' face. Shit ain't finna stop. I can drop a song every Thursday if I want to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thirsty Thursday. I'm finna be dropping shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. This shit ain't finna stop. No time soon. Alright, so I also see like you tatted, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got all tatted. Did you get that in the joint? No, I got a lot of shit when I was in I got a lot of shit in the joint, like my chest and my stomach, but most of my arms and shit, I got in the world. I got like this shit on my face, this shit in the joint and shit. Yeah, you so, got the new joint right now. I just got this shit last week though, you know what I'm saying? It's diamonds, huh? <laughs> yeah, man, you know, gotta gotta represent for the diamonds and shit, so. Alright, bet. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so. Man, tell the people where they can find your social media, man. How they can download your music. Shit, Ebon Hood Rich on every social media, nigga. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Shit. All that shit. Goddamn it. Uh, YouTube, Ebon Hood Rich. All my shit on there. Got about 100 videos on that motherfucker. World Star. Got like 30 videos on that motherfucker. My shit everywhere yeah, for real, though. My mixtapes, Apple Music. Shit. Uh. All that shit, man. Air sight, SoundCloud. So you everywhere. Yeah, yeah, wherever to find that shit. Goddamn it, shit is on that motherfucker. Spinrilla, all that shit. Spotify gone, you know what I'm saying? My shit everywhere. So go on, look that shit up, download it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with a nigga, man. Just, you finna see a lot of me. This is just the beginning. Just got to have what happened last week. Just let the people know, man. Final words, you know what I'm saying, from Ebon Hood Rich, man. You my hood rich, man. Big dog, you know what I'm saying? HMG, you know, already know how we coming, man. Low in and no win. We've been throwing them L's up, man. You know how I'm coming. Look for me everywhere, man. Like I said, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Ebon Hood Rich, YouTube, Worldstar. I'm everywhere, man.